So I've had a couple of people reach out asking me to review Screppy. Screppy is a uh, an AI based um, website tool that allows you to kind of keep track and monitor everything that's going on with your website. So I went ahead and uh, checked it out and it's actually a pretty good tool, actually good enough that I might actually start using it myself. So in this Screppy review, I want to show you exactly what it is, how you can use it, and uh, if you think you might be able to use it for you and your business as well. So um, as of right now, I do want to let you know there is a um, uh, discount over at AppSumo where you can get it for one time purchase forty nine dollars. That's going to be a lifetime deal. Um, you got to love these lifetime deals. And like, like I always tell you, I'm a sucker for a good lifetime deal. But let's see what is available with it right now. If you are watching this and the the it is still available because these deals don't last very long on AppSumo. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description so that you can go check it out and get it before it goes away. If you are watching this in the future and the deal is already gone, I'll replace it with an affiliate link. And if you use it to go ahead and sign up for Scrappy. It's not a very expensive program to use for what it does, and I definitely think it is worth it. So, what you would get if you did use the App Sumo deal is a pretty long laundry list of stuff, as you can see here. I'm going to zoom in just a tad so that we can see. I'm not going to really run through all of them, but you can see like the amount of ridiculousness <laughs> that this particular tool has. Uh, page speed monitoring, technical SEO, uptime monitoring. That's the one I'm probably going to be liking the most. Um, the Google Rank Checker, that's the, you know, probably worth its weight in gold right there if you're not using any other services to do that for you. Um, 10 websites, uh, on-demand analysis. It's just, like I said, it's a long, long list. And the $49 one will probably do most people just fine. They will allow you to stack codes with this so you can buy more than one. And every time you do, it'll just up your limits for the project, the crawler credits, the team, team members, and the SERP credits. I went ahead and got two just for, just just because you know I got a ton of websites and um, just to keep a uh, track of them but you probably won't even need to one of them is good even if you're if you're a smaller agency but I definitely recommend it again I'll put it down in the description below let's go ahead and check take a look at the regular pricing if you were to sign up for Scrappy later um, you see is for the light plan is two dollars and fifty cents per month which is like basically nothing <laughs> seven dollars and fifty cents per month for the pro plan when you do sign up with uh, the app sumo deal you get the pro plan um, the advanced plan is not a available on AppSumo. Even if you were to stack codes, they still won't give you the advanced plan. I'm not really sure why they did that. It would have been nicer because there's a couple of things on the advanced plan that I wish I did have, but I'm not going to pay $15 a month for it when the deal is available over on AppSumo for $49. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into what Screppy is. So let's go to the home page here. And uh, Screppy will allow you to use it for a lot of stuff keyword tracker page speed monitoring seo monitoring uptime monitoring and syntax checker so this will help with a lot of your technical seo type stuff whether or not you have meta descriptions whether you have some broken links on your site you know things of that nature scrappy is really uh good for if you're already using a tool like hrefs or sem rush and you have a um a site audit tool or something that's on those that'll pretty much do everything here other than maybe the uptime monitoring but uh, it's pretty good to have um i went ahead and signed up for it and i'm i put all my sites on it and i'll be sure to um well, actually i've only put one site on it so far but i will be putting all of my sites on it once i get it up and running um you can start with a free trial but um again it's it is worth it i would go ahead and and check it out but let's go ahead and dive into uh, Scrappy right here. You can see I have the uh, pro plan. I got a couple of credits. So I get uh, 20 projects, which is 20 different uh, websites that I can put on here. Um, keyword credit, analysis credit, um, two team members. Um, this, this would be pretty good for, um, you know, if you have other people on your team. And then an uptime monitoring every five minutes it checks. And if there's ever any issues or problems, it will shoot you an email to let you know that your website's down. That's a big deal, you know, and there's a mobile analysis. Um, I didn't really get too much into the mobile analysis part. But um, this is pretty much what you would be getting if you got, um, if you went ahead and got uh, two codes. If you got one code, it would be half this. So instead of the 8,000 analysis credit, 16,000 analysis credits, you have 8,000. And then for the 8,000 keyword credit, you get 4,000. So 
that's the amount of checks that you can have. So you can literally have, you know, 4,000, 8,000 keywords that you're going for, and it'll tell you the, you know, what's going on with each one of them every single time. Um, this is helpful for if you're using a tool like uh, maybe SERP Robot or something. This can help replace that, plus give you a lot of other interesting features. So let's go ahead and jump into, um, I went ahead and put Blogger Evolution on there. Um, go to do bloggerevolution.com slash tools if you want to see a lot of the tools that I am actively using as well. I'll be sure to put a link down in the description for it. So let's do a quick overview of uh, what exactly Scrappy has to offer. Um, so they give you the overview. They give you your site health. You see I'm a little low right here according to my site health, but there's a reason for it, and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, SERP keywords, I only put like one or two in there right now. Um, they only start tracking from the moment that you uh, put it in. So it's not going to go into any history or anything. So as soon as you get it, start putting in keywords like immediately so that you can start keeping track of them. Uh, very similar to a SERP robot. Uh, crawl pages, I have more than more pages than this on the site, so I'm not sure why it's only four, uh, but it might just need time. When, when you do add a site on here, you do got to give it like a little while for it to actually pop up. This one's already been on here for at least a day or two, so um, it should be a little bit more, but we'll go into that more later. Um, it tells me more about what's on the front page of the site um, in terms of backlinks. It says, okay, so there's no backlinks. I'm oh, sorry, there's no broken links. Um, big images, redirect, missing alt text. That's on purpose. I don't know normally put alt text on anything a uh, missing title that's that makes sense because i have some pages that i don't need a title on because i'm using them for different purposes slow images that's actually interesting to note because uh, you don't want slow images on your site but down here you know just like you would see at an hrefs or an um, sem rush it just gives you all of the information of what's wrong with your site so far um, it says page has broken link so i need to check that one and uh, meta description tag missing and empty. There's a reason for that. I don't really add meta descriptions because I don't really use an SEO plugin. So a lot of these um, is a reason for not using an SEO plugin, but you don't really need one, if you, especially if you have other options. They tend to weigh down a site and I don't really go over it. Scrolling down some more, we have some um, keyword tracking uh, that you can put in here. It'll give you your average position, the ones that you have in the top 10, top 50, top 100, whether it's rising, some that you've had falling. Again, this is the part right here that's more like SERP robot, giving you some pretty interesting information as to what's going on with your site. And then down here at the uptime, you know, going up and down, it looks like it was down a little bit and then it's been up just fine. So we're all good there. Let's go ahead and go through these modules that we have, have here on the left. So number one is the issues. The issues is going to be like a little bit of a culmination of everything that they're finding on your site that you might want to go check on. Um, so over here, you see I have zeros everywhere. So that's usually a good sign. Um, I do have a page that has some broken backlinks on it. So I will need to check that at some point. Um, down here at the content, I have some that have low content ratios. That's mainly because I have pages that don't need a lot of content. They're really just landing pages. I have one that has a duplicated H2. You know, a lot of just really uh, technical SEO stuff that you want to, to check, or if it's here, you know, have a reason why that is here and you know why it's there. It's not something that's going to pop up, which can affect whether or not your site is indexed, how well it's crawled, and all of that fun stuff. So this is insanely helpful in my uh, in my opinion for what you're able to get for it. Uh, next over, we have the crawler. Now the crawler has a lot of information that you can click on here. The first one would be just the diagnostics. Um, see nothing here. You can click on, click on syntax issues. It says nothing. Um, oh yeah, there's nothing next to it. There's probably nothing there. So uh, look at the crawler. You see everything here is a HTM, HTTP status is 200, which is okay. Um, you, you don't need to be super technical. And that's actually the beauty of using Scrappy. You don't have to be super technical to know. Just let the tool tell you whether or not it's good or not and go from there. Uh, let's go ahead and jump to the content and okay so this doesn't collapse interesting all right so let's go to the content so we can click on keywords and uh, you see it's finding some keywords here that are uh, based on the content that's on the site so it read the site and it found a lot of these words used over and over again and it's using those as keywords that you might be ranking for on google you would obviously have to go with uh, google search console to see what you're ranking from there but you can go to each one of those um short titles this will tell you each page that have short titles like my contact page it, that has a short title for a reason the tools page that i was telling you about earlier again short title that's short title for a reason missing meta descriptions they don't really need meta descriptions 
because uh, I don't really use them anyway. Missing H1, um, my contact page doesn't have an H1 on it. You know, I might put an H1 on there and then duplicated title and duplicated H1. So there's a couple things that I didn't even realize, you know, that's going on on the site that I may want to go check and fix. Now, um, here's where a lot of your money is going to be made with this particular tool. Um, oh, apparently I've lost ranking somewhere. So we, look, we punch in the keyword. I'm just putting in some branded stuff here that I just put in there yesterday and uh, blog revolution, which is pretty cool. I'm ranking. It says number three, but when I Google it myself, even in an incognito window, I come up number one. So this only checks uh, once a week, I believe, which is, oh, it says updated one minute ago. Uh, next analysis after seven days. There you go. So it checks, I think you can click analyze all maybe, and it'll do it for you right there, um, which actually would make the big difference for me. But anyways, uh, it's only one minute, you know, ago that it did this, but you can only ask it to check once a week. Um, we'll get into the settings and I'll show you that particular port part where uh, you can change how often the Google rankings are checked. Um, but again, you can see your top 10, your top 20 keywords. See if you're moving up, moving down, which keywords aren't doing well. You can favorite keywords uh, by hitting the heart here, which is pretty helpful and, and useful so that you can figure out what keywords you really want to rank for. Um, let's go over to PageSpeed Insights. Um, this is cool because it really helps you with uh, Core Web Vitals. Um, it, it takes a little bit of time for that to happen for the Core Web Vitals to actually get put in. So uh, you might need to give it a second and then it'll pop up. Uh, maybe I had to put it in here, let's see. And let's go ahead and hit Analyze. Invalid URL, I gotta put HTTP. All right, so you gotta put the HTTP in here first, and uh, oh yeah, it's under a period of monthly, so it's going to check it, uh, yeah, ad only advanced will do it daily. You don't really need to check your Core Web Vitals daily, monthly is, is fine. Um, let's click on reanalyze, and uh, oh, say analyzation has started, so, or analysis has started. So and it's, it's going ahead and going to grab that, which is pretty cool. So um, it'll do it automatically, monthly, or you can come in and do it yourself manually, which actually is not bad. I thought that you would have had to, um, it only gave you so many to do, but the fact that it's going to do it even manually when I come in and check it, which is perfectly, perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and look under the links. So this will tell me all of the links that are available on the site and uh, which ones are external, which ones are dead or broken or dead. This is super, this is super um, important and helpful. Uh, and then you can uh, filter these things out by the HTTP, HTTP status and figure out what's going on with your site. Again, a lot of technical stuff. Uh, it can tell you that a lot of the do follow links that you have on your site, the no follow links that you have on your site, um, no opener links, external. This is actually extremely helpful because a tool that I would normally use to take care of a lot of this would be Ahrefs or maybe even a link whisper, which is a great, great tool that I absolutely love. Um, I'll be sure to put a link down in the description for that as well if you want to check it out. But a link Whisper is another one that can give you a lot of these external internal links that's going on on your site. Let's go ahead and look at images. So I um, don't have a ton of images here, especially on the front page, just, you know, my face here, my podcast there and a few other things. But uh, other than that, you know, it tells you whether or not these images are working and everything's great with them. And that's awesome. You know, there are there are some that are missing the missing uh, missing alt text. Um, like I said, I do the alt text sometimes depending on the image, like these quotation marks, like you don't really need alt text on those, right? So let's go ahead to the uptime now. Um, this again is probably worth its weight in gold right here because you're able to, you know, literally every five minutes it checks to make sure that the site is up. Um, if you have a uh, a host that you are that you don't trust, you don't like that much, but you happen to be on them, <coughs> Bluehost, then um, you know using a tool like this will give you a lot of. Uh, insights as to whether your site's up or down, anything's going wrong with it, and we'll let you know pretty much immediately. And then we have the settings here. Let's go ahead and jump over to the settings. And I want to show you the general settings. Nope, not the general settings. The search settings. Not the search settings. Oh yeah, the search settings. So SERP update frequency. So here you can, it defaults you, I believe at 30 days, but you can change it to every week. You need the advanced to go ahead and do um, every three days or every day. And um, 
you know, every week is probably fine, especially if it allows us to go in and do this manually anyway, which I believe it does, which actually is pretty good. So let's go ahead and update that. Um, we can look at the uptime, have it to, um, this is off by default. So if you do get up and sign up for Scrappy, I would definitely um, make sure that these are turned on. This way you can get an email um, or an update in, or notification in case the site goes down. And then the crawler. So then the crawler, um, how often it's going to crawl the site. You can have it to respect the robots.txt or not. Uh, this will help if you don't want it to uh, look at certain pages, but um, no big deal. You know, there's max limit is 500. They do allow you to add more. So I don't know if there's a limit to this or if they, if you're just capping it just because. So if you have a larger website, that would be helpful. Uh, next up is um, the timeout uh, user agent. So this is like how you would like the crawl to show up on the site um, so Scrappy by default or an iPhone Firefox or whatever normally is pretty helpful I just leave it on the Scrappy default and uh, that'll be just fine so that's pretty much Scrappy um, you can put as many websites as you need on here um, I think if you do get the two you get the 20 different websites if you get uh, multiple codes over at AppSumo so um, again link down in the description I'll be sure to they'll go there it's bloggerrevolution.com slash Scrappy um, I will, again put a link in the description for you to go check that out and go pick it up before it's gone and again if you are checking this out after scrappy has already left AppSumo, then um, i'll be sure to put a, an affiliate link down there as well so that you can go and check it out um you do get a 60-day money-back guarantee for anything that you buy on AppSumo, so you know why not you know give it a try and you literally have two months to decide if you want to keep it or not so that's scrappy and i'll catch you in the next video